welcome to the Little Crop Farm. This is vlog one, and right now what I want to talk about is the fact that we were a small family homestead, and this year with everything, we decided we were going to grow for our community. Before we did that though, we ordered for our homestead, and what I'm going to share with you are the seeds that I ordered and why I ordered them. Here we go, homestead seed order. Astro arugula. So I love arugula to mix in with our leaves. My kids don't all love it, but it's fresh and it's good. And also it's called racket. Now we have Karina shell peas. So if your family is like my family, we grow these and then we just basically eat them all as we pick them off the vine. They just don't even make it halfway into the house. We love these. Just enough, well, it's never enough for our homestead. Now we have a black beauty eggplant. These, this is just normal aubergine uh, eggplant. And it, um, I mean, you make eggplant farm. Who doesn't love that in the summer? It's great. In the summer, who doesn't love a hot, cheesy, <laughs> Well, it's not as heavy as the meat, you know, like, or the chicken parm, which is, we also love our chicken parm. So, but eggplant parm is also good, you know. I just, honestly, anything fried. Am I right? I mean, at least you grew it, right? <laughs> Here we go. So now we have San Marzano paste tomato every late summer, early fall. Uh, my mother-in-law and I, my husband, usually not me. Uh, San Marzano paste tomatoes, the best tomatoes for sauce making with your husband and mother-in-law. Copia tomato. I don't honestly, it was probably what was available, but it's going to be the best of what was available. I'll tell you that much. Okay. And then we have Integro cabbage. This is the beautiful, shiny, purple heads of cabbage. We love the purple cabbage because my youngest loves purple cabbage and it's just one of those things, I mean, it's a beautiful color. So we focus what area we can devote to cabbage growing and we make it purple. We all like purple cabbage. It's purple, damn it. <laughs> yes, it's, it's grown by Mother Earth and it's purple. Green finger cucumbers. I mean, okay, now not all my kids eat cucumbers, but the ones that do eat a lot of cucumbers. So these are good because they're cucumbers. <laughs> Gourmet lettuce blend because we all need more greens. All of us. All of us need more greens. It's true. You can't argue that. Everybody says it. Everybody's right. It's We all need to eat more green. We need to be more green. So, Sunrise Bumblebee Tomatoes. We're just getting the bee's name out there. <laughs> we love the bees. Okay, no, seriously, these are gorgeous. We have Chaching Zucchini, which is kind of regular zucchini, Moscovich tomato. Yummy Bing Cherry Tomatoes. These are super duper sweet. Usually my kids don't eat too many of them, so I really get to eat a lot of them. Brussels sprouts. Okay, so we love Brussels sprouts. Some of us more than others, but I can cut them up or sometimes I just, honestly, if I don't have any more cabbage, I'll cut the Brussels sprouts really, really thin. So it just looks like really shredded cabbage and then I make coleslaw with Brussels sprouts. Bunching onions, little spring onions. They're just gonna be gorgeous. Baby doll watermelon. Um, my family loves watermelon. So these looked gorgeous. We hadn't grown this particular type before, so we're gonna try something new. Badger flame beets. We love beets. They're really great. You can do them in the salad or whatever, but sometimes they have this earthy taste. And these ones are supposed to have a little bit less, plus there's this really gorgeous, vibrant, orangey color. So 
We're gonna try these this year and I'm super excited because we like to make beet chips. Spring Rob Broccoli Rob. I like to saute it with some extra virgin olive oil and garlic and some spices like Italian blend kind of spices that I do and then um, some white beans and it's really really yummy. Green sleeves dill. Um, if you know what they look like they're just this really dilly dill and I think it's super cute and I can't wait to do it plus I just like green sleeves right? Bangles blend sweet pepper. Eco eco sweet pepper. Leisure cilantro. These last few ones are just kind of what was available, what we wanted to try. No real reason in particular, but uh, we try to kind of change up what we grow each year. And so some of these things are a little bit different. So, but the cilantro, um, I love cilantro. I think it just, especially in the summer, it adds so much to your salads, to a wrap to salsa. I mean, like any kind of thing you want to do, I love having fresh cilantro. But it's weird because I had my DNA tested before and it said I had the gene that makes cilantro taste like soap, but I think it tastes great, not like soap at all, which would be gross. Bouquet dill. Sage, this is important for any good herb garden. We know why. Calendula. So something we added to our farm this last year is Nigerian dwarf goats. And they're all expecting. And that means that in the next few months we will have milk. Lots and lots of goat milk once the little kids are weaned. And we keep them in milk and then everything returns back to normal. So with all that goat milk we're making goat milk soap. And what's nicer than soothing calendula? Moon and stars watermelon. I mean, I love the moon, I love the stars, I love watermelon. This is a new one to us and I thought it looked gorgeous and I can't wait to grow it and my family loves watermelon. We never have enough. Ron Denise zucchini. Now zucchini are summer squashes and also known as courgettes. Black cherry tomatoes. Look at the color. Those grow gorgeous in our garden. Rainbow chard, also good sauteed. I'm gonna do these big exciting ones here. More rainbow chard, that was good timing. More cilantro, we'll be having lots of salsa. Giant Italian parsley. Lacinato kale. I am not a huge kale person. I'm just being frank here. However, we love, all of us love kale chips. And this year with our kale, we got a food dehydrator and we made so many kale chips. And Lacinato kale, which is also called dinosaur kale, which my kids love, and Tuscan kale, which just sounds fancy, is the best in, I mean, in many people's opinions. Pink Beauty Radishes. We love radishes. Genovese Basil. Indigo Apple Tomatoes. They sound amazing. Sunflowers. So we're also doing lots of flowers, lots more flowers this year. Bang of Fire Cayenne Hot Peppers. Honestly, I'm not a huge hot pepper person. I have made salsas before. My husband loves the hot stuff. This helps him with that. <laughs> that was kind of weird. This hot pepper. So baby Pam pumpkin. I mean, it's a really cute name, first of all. Second of all, it's good little like decorative ones. You can also make pies with them, which who doesn't love pumpkin pie? But also it's what was available. So that's what we got. Dulceva carrots, they're kind of available carrots. Well, sometimes you take what you can get, you know? You take, you get what you get and you don't get upset. Uh, Fiesta broccoli, we all need more Fiesta, don't we? Badger flame beets, just more of those gorgeous orangey beets that we talked about earlier. Roma paste tomato, also to be more time spent with my mother-in-law, slaving in a hot kitchen over buckets, <laughs> making hopefully delicious tomato sauce. It's tradition. We need lots of tomatoes for it. 
why not grow them ourselves? Black Beauty Eggplant for more of that delicious, cheesy midsummer pasta, not pasta treat. Yeah. Sor <laughs> sorrel. Why did you want sorrel? It's an herb. I know it's an herb. I need to know, is it medicinal? Is it, I can't remember. Why did we order sorrel? I did? Yeah. This is my idea? I think we make, we make something with this. I'll get back to you. It's been a long day. Melon, because we love melon. Not just watermelon. Most melons. Chives. More Genovese basil. Ah, or basil, as they say in some places. More Lacinato dinosaur kale. This one added both two of the three names in their packaging, so I appreciate that. Represent dinosaurs. Ring of Fire cayenne pepper. We're gonna help my husband with more of his hot stuff. It's gotta find it somewhere. More calendula to soothe, to soothe after the hot stuff. I mean, the goat milk soap is really good. I urge everyone to try it at some point. I mean, if you can find it. Oh my gosh, we've got to the bottom of this box already. I needed to order a lot more. Thank you for joining me at the Little Crow Farm. Vlog one, what we bought for our homestead. The end!